So what do we have here? A one-man submarine. What is this? I thought we were coming to look at a sandwich. Yeah, it's not a submarine sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming down to the pawn shop today to sell my one-man sub. It's just different, and you don't just come across things like that. I want to sell it today because I have no use for it. I wanted to get 25 grand, but I guess the minimum I could take is five. All right, I got to admit, this is the first time anyone's brought a submarine to my shop. Uh, where in the world did you get this? I got it from somebody that told me to take it off their yard. They didn't want it. So this was just sitting in someone's yard that says you could have it if you wanted. Right. So do you have any information on it at all? I know it's a star quest. I've been told that it's like from the 1980s. The amazing thing is someone gave this to you because I imagine these things are over $100,000 new. At least. Any submarine weighing less than 150 tons is called a midget. They're used by the Navy for patrolling shallow waters. But this thing looks like it was designed for civilian use. Yeah, that doesn't look very comfortable. How's this thing work? Basically, you put this in the water. This whole outer thing is different ballast tanks. Okay. You would let water go into them. Then you become heavier than water, and you start to sink. It's got compressed air tanks in here. When you want to go back up, you would pump air back into these and push the water out, and it would rise again. It definitely looks like it's been sitting out in the weather for a long time. This sub is in rough condition and missing a lot of parts. Call me crazy, but I'm still interested. These things sell for big money in operating condition. So if I can get it cheap, I think I can make some money here. So what do you want to do with this thing? I wanted to sell it. And how much did you want for it? Oh, well, as is, 25 grand. You do realize we're in the middle of a desert, right? Well, yeah, but there's lakes and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is my problem. I have no idea what it would cost to fix this thing up. You know, I would offer you a few thousand dollars, and I don't think you're going to take that. Maybe I would. I'll give you two grand for it. Can I do that? You can go higher, a little higher. you got to realize what you're looking at. It's, I'll go, I'll go three grand. That'd be it. <sighs> All right, got a deal. OK. All right, don't you tell the old man anything about this. My lips are sealed. I settled for three grand because I didn't want to take it back with me. Basically, all they have to do is put a couple grand maybe into it, and it'll be a gold mine. Chumway. Damn it, Chumway. What? I saw Rick give a lady a lot of money a while ago. What was it for? About a Rolex. I'd see in the computer if it was a Rolex. What do you really buy? Well, look in the computer and you see about a submarine. Hey, what? Ricky! Yeah? Come here. What? You bought a submarine? Yeah. You know it costs like $10,000 an hour just to test to see if one of those things work? It doesn't work. I already know that, so we don't need to test it, do we? I thought we made a company policy we wouldn't buy no more damn boats. It's not a boat, it's a submarine. Close enough. I bought a boat a few years ago, and my dad and the old man nearly killed me. The old man always says boats are losers. I can't believe my dad's going to get away with this. That was a stupid buy. I'm going to make money on this thing, and then who's going to look stupid? I don't even know how to respond to that. Have you seen the hat you're wearing? You're a It wasn't easy finding an expert about submarines in the middle of the desert, but I finally found somebody. And this guy's going to settle this thing once and for all. So this is it. What do you think? Well, I think that, uh... It's scrap iron. It's not iron, boss. Close enough. So the guys were really concerned about whether the submarine had any value and its condition, and they wanted to know a little bit about its history. Interesting, the history of one-man submarines, the first one used in battle was used by the American colonies against the British. It was called the Turtle, and it had two big pieces of wood pumping water in and out to make it go up and down, and he tried to sink a couple British ships. This particular sub was built in 1994 by a group of Canadian sub builders, and it was actually called Sea Urchin. So what's Quest? It says it on the side of it. Quest is an Australian filming company. They bought this sub to try to use it for filming. This was the second submarine of its kind. The first one was a prototype, and this was the Sea Urchin 2. It's really amazing to me that this submarine came into Rick's shop. You don't see things like this every day. So how far can this thing go down? It's uh, rated for 100 meters, so 330 feet. 
It's designed to be operated by a single operator who lays down, puts his head towards this viewing port, and operates the controls with his left hand. It's very fast, and its hydrodynamics allow it to be efficient underwater. But the problem with this design is that it's really difficult to stay with your head lifted and operate for any extended period of time. It's very uncomfortable. It's missing its upper viewing dome and a lot of the parts that originally made it function. It's pretty beat up. So how much would it cost to fix this thing up? This sub was sold originally for $150,000. To make this thing functional again, it's going to need some new viewing ports. You're going to have to fix the life support system. Its thruster motors are gone. You're probably looking at $100,000 to fix it up. Scrap the damn thing. Got a pile of damn junk metal. I should have killed that sale before it ever started. I'm going to sell it as a fixer-upper. Who are you possibly going to sell this thing to? A diver. <laughs> Someone will buy this off me. It's got to be worth something. Is it worth anything? The value of the sub as it sits is $10,000. Some sub builders could use the parts, including the pressure hull, for building another sub. Really? Eat crow, guys, every one of you. I knew it had to be worth something. I want an apology. Hell no. We're going to make money on this thing, so I demand an apology. We're supposed to make money on everything, and you bought you a You just hate to gun. admit that I have great business acumen. You got the biggest head west of the Mississippi, son. I love it when this happens. I paid 3 k for this thing. It's not a disaster. It's a home run. Well, you got lucky, Rick. I'd rather be lucky than smart any day. You're neither, Chumwe. I still want an apology, guys. Yeah. Bug off, son. I deserve an apology. You do not. Yes, I do. Be a cold day in hell.